today, lesson 74. This is on converting units of length, okay? So there's two um, different charts I want you to make on your paper, okay? okay? The first one is called the U.S. U.S. Customary Customary System. System. U.S. Customary System. Now, the other system we're going to learn about is called the metric system. Metric. Everybody else in the world uses the metric system. But we in the United States use the U.S. Customary System. Okay. okay, let's fill out the U.S. Customary System, okay? So, we use things like inches, feet, miles, and etc. Everybody else is use, uses um, kilo, kilometers, meters, centimeters, and all things like that, okay? So let's fill out the U.S. Customary System. And this is what I want you to write. You can just put a box if you want to underneath it, okay? And say 12 inches equals one foot, okay? So I'm using abbreviations in for inches. Put my period at the end to make sure you know that that's an abbreviation. Feet, abbreviation. I'm just putting FT, okay? okay? Here's another one. Three feet equals one yard. Okay, now we're not talking about a yard outside. It's yeah. actually a form of measurement, okay? okay. Um, 5,280 feet equals one mile. 5,280 feet equals one mile. And that would be like, because a foot is 12 inches, that would be like me taking 12 inches and going back to back from each other. Uh -huh. Or 12, um, one, 12 inches for each foot. And I would have 5,280 of these steps back to back to equal one mile. Understand? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then the last one is 1,760 yards equal one mile. So these are both in forms of miles, okay? Um, this, this one equals a mile and this one equals a mile, but as you can see, this is how many feet it takes, this is how many yards it takes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Got it? Yep. Should you write all those down? Yep. All right, so let's... Um, let's see U.S. customer. Let's see U.S. Now, let's take and this time underneath that, I want you to write the metric system. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right, the metric system is, let's do this, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter and we saw that on a ruler when we turned it from the inches to the centimeters we saw that 10 millimeters equals one centimeter mm -hmm. okay 1000 millimeters equal equals one meter one hundred centimeters equals one meter Okay. And 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer km. Okay. Okay. Now, <clears throat> listen to my problem, and they're, we're actually going to use the metric system, okay? It says the star player on the basketball team is 197 centimeters tall. So I'm just going to write that down to the right. Of this centimeters 197 tall. centimeters tall okay okay and then it asks how many meters tall is the star player okay so what two measurements did you hear me say centimeter and meter okay do you see one that says meter and centimeter okay which one uh, the bottom one and the second and the third one. This one? No, we're just doing meters and centimeters. What do you mean? So the problem talked about centimeters and meters. 
The third one. Yes, the third one talks about centimeters and meters, right? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to take this and put it above it. 100 centimeters equals one meter. These equal. Okay. Okay? So, okay. What do you think the centimeters will be turned into he's meters? He's almost two meters. He's almost two meters. So would it be fair to say he's 1.97? Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay, remember there's always a decimal after every number, at the end of every number. So there would be a decimal here, a decimal here, a decimal here. Okay? And so what that would mean is we saw that this decimal moved two spots over from 100 to 1. Yeah. You see that? It went whoop, whoop, and moved to this spot when we went from uh -huh. centimeters to meters. Yeah. From this one, the decimal went whoop, whoop, two spots again to where this one is. So this could be 1.00, because remember, you can have as many zeros yeah. as you want. You understand it? Mm -hmm. So the answer would be 1.97 meters. That's how tall he is, instead of 197 centimeters. Yeah. So whatever information they ask for, you find it on your chart, which one has both measurements, and you use that to find it. The meters? Yeah. This one was talking about centimeters and meters. Okay? So we had to find the one on this chart that was talking about centimeters and meters. Is this one talking about centimeters and meters? Um, no. No, it's talking about centimeters and millimeters. Yeah. Is this one talking about centimeters and meters? No. Centimeters and meters? Yeah. Centimeters and meters. No. So we knew we had to work with that one. Yeah. Got it? So the chart's going to come in handy for these things like this, okay? Let's try one more. Now, this one is... System? One's... No, no, not one more system. One more uh, problem. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. Now, this one's going to kind of mix the two systems. Okay. Okay. But wait just a minute, because I first want to tell you this. At the bottom, or put a star on this one, Okay. Star on what one? Just to I'm gonna, um, put it underneath the chart. Yeah, one of them. One of those charts. You want to say a meter is about three inches longer than a yard. Okay, that's just some information you need to know. A meter is about three inches longer than a yard. Okay. Okay, now remember, inches and yard are something that Americans use. Meter is something everybody mm -hmm. else uses. Yeah. So, if I know how long a yard is, I know that if I were to go to China or something, I would need three more inches added to my yardstick, which is about like this. I would need three more inches added to my yardstick to match their meter stick. Oh. Okay? Because we use an inch and a yard system. Okay? They're called, it's called a yardstick. It's not actually a part of a yard or yeah, anything. Yeah, I know. Okay? So if I were to go to China, I would need to add three inches to my yardstick to equal their meter stick. Okay? Just, just, just to note that. Yeah. Not that important that you, like, absolutely, like, memorize it or anything. Okay, now, here's what they asked me, okay? I'm going to put the problem up here, and we're going to work together. Two yards is the same as how many inches? Okay. Okay. Did this say anything about meters, centimeters, kilometers, millimeters? No. no. So we know that we're talking about yards and inches, which is which system? Both. Is no? Yards meters. Is a, yards is in the metric and then No, inches. yards is in the U.S. It is? Uh-huh. Okay. China uses, and everybody else in the world uses the metric system, which is meters, centimeters, millimeters, kilometers. Yeah. Okay. Ours have all different names. They have meter in all their words. Centimeter, millimeter, yeah. meter, kilometer, kilometer. 
Okay. Kilometer or something? Kilometer or kilometer. Oh. Some people say it differently. Yeah. But did you hear meter in every word? Yeah. So the U.S. customary system doesn't use meter in every word because they don't even use the meter metric system. Yeah. Okay? So you can automatically know what system they're talking about if it's the U.S. or if it's the metric based on if they say meter. Okay? Did they say meter in any of this? No. no. So we're working with the U.S. customary. Okay. Okay. Now, do you see anything that tells me how many yards are in an inch? Do you see yards and inches no. on any of your U.S. customary systems? Yards. No. Okay. Um, yards and inches? Yeah. In the same, like, thing? Yeah, do they have yards and inches? Yards. And miles. Okay, and what else? Feet and miles. Feet and yards. Yep, that's the one we want to use. Because. But that's not inches. I know. So, we have to use two of them to figure out this one. So, stay with me. Uh, okay? How many inches are in one foot? Um... 12, right? 12. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. 12 inches equals 1 foot. Okay? Now, do I know anything about how many feet are in a yard? Look on your look on your U.S. customary system. How many feet? Three. Three feet is one yard. Okay? Three feet equal one yard. Okay. Now, do you think we can discover... Okay. Knowing these two measurements, one foot is 12 inches, okay? And we know that three feet equal one yard. So stay with me here. So would it be fair for me to go to add another foot, which would give me 12 more inches, add another foot, which would give me 12 more inches. And so I have how many feet? Three. And how many inches? Uh inches we have to add them right? uh-huh so let's do that two that's plus two four, plus two five, six uh-huh and that's three 36 inches so would it be fair for me to say that 36 inches equals one foot oh no i'm sorry 36 inches equals three feet yeah one foot two foot three feet equals 36 inches right mm-hmm okay so three feet equals one yard. So, so what 36 say, inches is one yard. 36 inches is one yard. Excellent job. Now, how many yards do I have? Two. So if I did so another yard the, to then have two yards. 12, then seven. 72 inches equals one, two, two yards. Two yards. So, two yards is the same as how many inches? 72. 72 inches. See how we figured that out? Yeah. So, we used a different knowledge, even though it didn't have one written there for us. We used a different thing we did know and figured out what it was and then used that to help us. Yeah. So, it is a little bit harder, but do you feel like you understand? I understand. Okay. That is lesson 74.